there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm a Bible journaler here on YouTube. I'm going to be working on 1 Peter 4, 8. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. This page is not probably what you're going to expect. It's a personal story, and all month long on our Facebook group, I had asked for suggestions for a theme, and someone came up with talents and sharing how God's used your talents in ministry, etc. And there's a number of stories from my past, from my pre-Bible journaling days, that I've wanted for a while to put into my Bible, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do that. The story behind this one is that a number of years back, I was at church and I was doing a fundraiser sale for a ministry, and I had made a bunch of handmade valentines. And some of you are card makers and will know all about hand making valentines. And if you hand make a bunch of valentines and sell them at church, I can tell you the men will pay through the nose for them. So you can use them as a good fundraiser <laughs> because you just put a whole lot of stuff on it and they'll pay seven or eight dollars and you can actually raise some good funds for a ministry that you're working in. Well, this particular year when I did this, there was a man who bought a valentine and I don't even know which valentine it was, to be honest with you. I just know that a few months later, there was a woman who came to me and she said she had heard I was the one that had done the fundraiser and she wanted to tell me the story of the valentine. She and her husband had been separated for a number of years and I don't remember how many years at that point that it was, but nonetheless, they had been completely divorced and everything for, for years and had been apart, but she had never stopped praying for their marriage to be restored. And she had been praying a particular verse and it just kept going on and on. Nothing happened, no movement. But then he came to her and he gave her this Valentine. It happened to be the verse she, she had been praying. And he did not know that. He didn't pick the Valentine because of that. It was a total God thing which was kind of wild. And she was just so excited that that was her sign that God had said they were going to be back together. And they did get back together. They're remarried now. And it's a wonderful thing. And that was a way that God used something as silly as a Valentine. Just, you know, sometimes card making can seem like a hobby that I do for me, or you may find that for yourself that we just love making cards. We enjoy it. And to see God actually use that in ministry is kind of amazing. And that's why I wanted to put it in my Bible. So I'm painting a number of little Valentines. My sketch that I had started drawing out when I was tracing all those little pencil, uh, pencil lines around the boxes, I had drawn little fancy things in there. And as I was painting, I decided to simplify it a bit because this particular page is not about the art at all. It is about the story of what God did with that particular Valentine. Because I've wanted to, to document it for a while now because it's so important to me to know that God can use something as silly as a little Valentine. He can make all kinds of things on the earth move by just one little thing that he has us do. So if you have ever had a story where God's used one of your cards, this is a great little way to do it. And all I did was trace a rectangle to make a bunch of different card shapes. And you can see I'm just using one color of paint. This is a liquid watercolor and it's a particular brand called Pink Fresh. They're pretty new. Uh, their liquid watercolors just came out. But the cool thing about liquid watercolors is that you don't have to mix up a whole bunch of the same color. Because as you can see, the paint is all the same in that bottle. And you can mix it with other colors like you can with other watercolors, but it's really easy and quick to do this way. Especially if you do things like lettering and you want to keep your lettering the same color across the whole thing, it can be hard to mix up enough of a particular color in order to be able to make something consistent when you're doing a piece of artwork. And it also is really quick on something like this to me because, you know, I just wanted some really quick Valentines. So that's what I did. I saved the outlines to do afterward. And if you're new to my channel, you may not know that I do that all the time because half the time when I'm painting, I change where an outline's gonna be. 
my brush goes out of the line so I have to make my box bigger or something and it allows me to make some adjustments and changes to the black line before I finish it and then I don't have to worry about my painting being perfect because I can just fix it when I'm all finished and then nobody has to know that I went out of the lines because you know stuff happens and I can end up being messy. So for my text, I put Love Covers a Multitude of Sins on that one little card that's on top. And I save some space in the, the white area above the cards to journal the story itself so that I could write that out. Remember, you may someday give your Bible to your children, your grandchildren, and it would be wonderful if they could know what the stories of your life were, where God used you and ministered to you and through you. Thank you so much for spending a minute with me here today. And I will see you again next week. If you'd like to join the Facebook group, there's a link in the description down below. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.